Brought to you by the letter F for fart. And the following patrons Gordo, Dharma Wheelies, Benjamin, Big Boy Farts 666, Crispy 808, Despicable Dogs, Electro Pirate, Fancy Pants, It's Leon Motherfucker, Jesus Penis, Anonymous, MST3 Clay, Phone Losers of America, Turbo the High Level Squirrel, and Parkman. Thank you everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our live show at ImmoralJuice.com on Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. You can find our show archives at TravelsWithMiriam.com. You can help support the show by visiting Patreon.com forward slash Madhouse Militia. You can help contribute to the show by visiting ImmoralHole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Thank you for tuning Hello? Yes, hello there. I'm the heatwave man. I'm calling in regards to a room. Thanks for calling the front desk. Yes, hello. I'd like to accelerate your molecules with heat, perchance. How much is a room? We are so down for tonight. Oh, bother. Uh, Can I come in and accelerate your molecules? Excuse me? Can I come in and accelerate your molecules with heat? With energy? No, 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 dude. No, we're good. Have a good day. But I must. Hampton in Summerlin, Las Vegas. This is Elizabeth speaking. How may I assist you? Yes, hello. I would like to have a room, if possible. We're sold out for tonight. Can I come in and accelerate your molecules with heat? I'm sorry, what's that? I have large amounts of excess energy. I would like to accelerate your molecules with it. They're loose in the sky. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Fairfield in Las Vegas Northwest. This is Amina. May I help you? Yes, hello. I'm a man that likes to control the heat. Does your hotel offer such a thing? Uh, yes? All right, yes. Well, you see, I, I go around town and I accelerate molecules with energy. I'm the heat wave man. Um, okay. Yes, I, I just want to come to- down and accelerate the molecules in the room and make it nice and hot and toasty. Uh, sure. What's your room number? Oh, I'm not there yet. I need to get a room. Okay. Uh, what night would you like? Uh, any night where the, the molecules aren't r- vibrating. Whenever it's cold, I'm around the corner. I come in and I, I rifle through the sheets. And I, I writhe around in the sheets and I create heat energy. All uh, right, so you would like some something during December? Yes, yes. Okay. You hear that? That's what I done yesterday. Okay, it looks like the 1st of December is sitting at 299. All right, and what is it standing at? The rate of 299. Yes, yes. And how much for it- for heat? And let me put my brother-in-law on. I just sure. I I do the finances. 
and I wanted to know, you said 299 Yes, that's before tax. Does that come with the heat treatment, though, like in the room? That is uh, complimentary, sir. Okay, because the one hotel we went to, they would send someone into the room that would insert a tube rectally and blow heat up my ass, and it felt really good. And I was wondering if you could do that. Uh, yeah, you could check with the front desk uh, when you get here. What would I call that treatment? Is it the blowing smoke treatment, or what is it? I'm not sure, but you can uh, you can describe it to the front desk. Oh. I think it's a type of falchion beer. Well, they used to do it in the old days. You know, when the people got cold in the insides, they would blow smoke up their butt, and it would make them feel warm. But some of the doctors died because they, they sucked instead of blue, and then they got poo in their mouth and stuff. It was terrible. That they had mm-hmm. bad breath. You, you think I'm joking. You think I'm lying. It's true. I watched it on the YouTubes. Mm-hmm. So what's going on? What's going on with what? Uh, the hotel there. You, you booked solid. You just said everyone is doing their last summer hurrah vacation. Yeah, but for like we like we've been discussing for December, we do have plenty of availability. What we've been discussing. I, it hasn't really been a discussion. It was more like one way. You telling us that December first, two ninety nine. You know, if you want to have a discussion about it, let's let's talk. You know, and I'm not here to listen. I'm here to give instructions. Do you all offer a triple heat discount? Because the heat wave men will comp our bill. Unfortunately, he plays. What oh, about lava? There's no discount. It will just be. Elements, accelerate them with energy. You said no discount for lava? Throw it with his hands. Right. The heat wave man. Joyous music. He works miracles. Oh, oh no. He celebrates your molecules with love and makes your dad who can take oxygen? Wrap it in the nose or lay out. It's simply a miracle. So it's in the sun make a How did he do that? The heat wave man. The heat wave man. It's so the heat warm wave man in here. Can. The heat wave man can go to the left with his knob and makes your mom cool. I'm sweating now. Someone's got a good sleep tonight. Thank you for calling the retreat on Charles and Peak. May I help you? Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How can I help you? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Hi, my name is Jack. Great. Hi. How can I help you? Yeah, I want to know how how many germs come with the rooms. How many germs? <laughs> Um, preferably zero. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm all about. I'm about zero germs because I live in a plastic sphere. Uh-huh. Some people might call me a bubble boy. Uh huh. <laughs> Are you looking to come in at a certain time? We could make like a special note to make sure the housekeepers go. If you make a reservation, make sure the housekeepers go over it extra well. But it's our housekeepers, you know, always do a pretty good job, I would think. Yeah, if they use heat, they could incinerate all the, everything. <laughs> you know? I don't know if we have that capability for our housekeepers. That would be nice. But if that's what you're looking oh, yeah, for. Oh, yeah, it's real easy. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not it's have that. It's simple, really. You can get a, a flamethrower and just set <laughs> everything alight. Yeah, and that's a quick way to... Down, and then there won't be any germs. Yeah, it's a quick way to get rid of the germs, that's for sure. 
<laughs> yeah, I hate cleaning. I just burn everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely a quicker way to get I, rid of things. I burn my dishes. <laughs> I burn my clothes. Oh. Yeah, I burn everything. <laughs> like I don't even so clear help- my browser history. I don't even clear my browser history. I just put the laptop in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you with anything else other than the germs? No, I I don't know. If you could help me, that'd be great. <laughs> Can you transfer me to room 215? K7 bed and breakfast. Hi. I was wondering about your telephone service there. If I come and stay, are the lines tapped? I'm sorry, what? If I come and stay there, are the phone lines tapped? What do you mean, tapped? Like, are they recording? Are they recording everything? No. No, I mean, there's not even phones in the rooms. Uh, People have their cell phones now. (laughs) Oh. But that's kind of sad if you've had that experience. Yeah, the last place I stayed at, they were recording everything, and they recorded uh, a chat between my daughter and her boyfriend. And it was, they presented to me like, oh, look what we found. Look what they're doing. And they're, 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 they're adults, so I don't understand like, what they were trying to do or prove to me. Okay. And it, was totally, no. it was totally legal what they were doing. Yeah, well, they ruined his birthday birthday surprise by playing back the recording. Uh, That's unfortunate. Do you have a reservation, sir, or what else did you need to know? I was just wondering if you've tapped the lines or not, because, you know, we can sell it on the web, you know. We can sell it on the web for, you know, big money. Okay, thank you. Do you have a garage? Saddle sore? Good evening. Thank you for calling Saddle West with Alan Casino. This is Mercedes. How can I help you? Hi, expensive car lady. Uh, are your lines tapped? I'm sorry? Are the phone lines tapped? Do you know? Like if I stay there in the room and I make, yeah, tap, like, you know, the recording, recording everything we say, and they're going to throw it into the big AI machine, and it's going to be our mm-hmm. social credit in the future. Like, no. Are they, phone, are they tapped? Do you know? No. It's not tapped. Can tap. you go to the closet? Can you go to the closet and make sure the lines aren't tapped? I want you to you know, inspect it with a magnifying glass and make sure there's no extraneous wires going off into like a, a wall or a room that you don't know exists, you know? That's probably where they hide it, you know? They are you uh, booking a reservation? Yeah. No, yeah. we don't have any recorded uh, messages. I mean recorded messages. Uh, your Our conversation is not recorded. That's bullshit. I see an old man. Award winning holiday. How can I help you? Hi, if it comes Hi. to my brain and my brother's here, can we can we find out about the Trump uh, trunk line? I'm sorry, are they tapping the lines? They've been tapping all the lines I talk on all night. You hear that? You hear that click? That's them. They're talking. They're listening. They're gonna tap that up. I'm experiencing it. Oh, bitch. From Nugget, this is Crystal. How can I help you? Yeah, hi, Crystal Nugget. Is this the corrupt Nugget? Yes, this is the corrupt Nugget. Yeah, the corrupt Nugget. Yeah, that's what it's called, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So there's been someone walking around to the different rooms and placing a stethoscope on the doors and listening in. Does this individual work for you? Uh, No. Do you know what kind of outfit he's wearing? He's wearing, like, a, you know, the white coat, like a doctor coat. And he's walking around and he's putting the stethoscope up against the doors of each room. And he's going, "Uh uh-huh, mm-hmm, oh, mm mm-hmm. Like he's hearing things. Do you know which floor he's on? Uh, three. All right, I'll go ahead and send security on up. 
I don't think I don't know. I think he's a real doctor, though. Uh, either way, we won't, we don't allow anybody to walk around putting a stethoscope up to any of the doors. Oh, now he's saying that one of the doors has an irregular heartbeat. All right, oh, no he's, problem. He's taking out his little book to prescribe medication to the door. Oh, yeah. All right, he just we just wrote a prescription. Oh, and he just gave the door a lollipop and said, see you next week. Hermay, I got my hearing aid out. He stuff a scalp. Oh, Oh, now he says this other uh, door needs to lose about 10 pounds. And where are you he's at? He's like, he's going door to door, like, doing free medicine, but he's diagnosing doors and not people. Okay, and where are you standing? I'm in the hallway. What door number? 215, I mean 315. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hang up, and I'm going to call security, and they're going to head up to the third floor, okay? Oh. Yep. Now, he's, now he's saying that I got to, that the door has acne. Yep. Well, now he said that this other door is entering menopause. Uh, all right, I'm going to be sending security up to you, all right? You know, he told this one door that a chiropractor may even be able to help with his lower back pain. All right, let me place you on hold, all right? Okay, if you have to. VRO is the market leader in player tracking, rewards, player recognition, and communication technology. With its golden I don't think she's going to come back. <laughs> Thank you for calling Best Western Plus. Can I put you on a brief hold? Uh, there's a snake. It came in through the snake door. Why? Sir, we Why don't have a snake snakes. door. You have there's a snake, no snake door. door. It came in. Thank it you came for your prank call. I'll door. report your number to the police. Goodbye. What? Thanks for calling Moto 6 j baby. Hi. Hello? Yes, can I help you? My friend and me were getting the room, and he was laying in the bed, and I told him not to look at the door, but he was kind of doing the door. So the doorknob kind of broke in because he went up and he tried to fuck the, the doorknob. Can you come and help us? Because we're stuck inside the room now because he kind of put his, his finger in the ass of the door. Huh. Thank you for calling, Moto. So you can help you. Why are you hanging up on us, man? We're in the fucking room and you hanging up? Fucking banchor. Pinche perro. Coño puto. La verga. Pinche maricón cabrón de mierda. Estúpido mendigo baboso perro. Chinga su madre. Como te lo un grandote, vergota en su boca, estúpido. Pinche joto. Mira, culo. Vete a la chingada, güey. Vete a la chingada, lambe me culo. No culo, no sé, pestoso. Muy pestoso. El culo está abierta. ¿Estás listo? Ok. Thank you for calling Fallon Super 8 Bonanza. This is Fran. How can I help you? Hi, I'm Hello. I'm going to be there. I'm the truck. Hello? Hello? Can Are you, you hear there? me? Okay, there I can. Hey, I'm what's here, the matter baby. with you? Huh? What? I'm here, baby girl. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, baby? Uh, yeah, I kind of. I'm kind of getting a little feedback, though. Are you coming in tonight? You have a oh, reservation? Shit. I do. I just had a couple of questions for you. See, I'm a big fat truck driver, and I was wondering if you might know any good spots to eat around there. Um. Well, we have a few places, but what time do you think you're going to be hitting town? 
Well, about, um, in about an hour and a half. Oh, honey, I think about an hour and a half, um, you might just be able, the only thing going to still be open is like the fast food places. Because oh, unfortunately, about, they close down around 8 or 9 o'clock. What about That's for brunch? Okay. What about That's for brunch, okay. sweetie? What about what? What about for brunch, sweetie? Let me say, let's say I want two eggs and a sausage tomorrow. What about for brunch? Oh, okay. Well, you can uh, go to JD Slingers right here in our casino. Mm. They have a really good breakfast. Oh. Oh yeah. Sounds pretty good. What do you what get about? from there? What do you yeah. get from I'm there? Not, what do you get? Uh, I usually get burgers. I'm not here for breakfast. <laughs> I usually get burgers. <laughs> I'm not here for breakfast. <laughs> I hear an echo. So you I like boogers too? So you like do you get uh yeah, do you get I pepper jack it. cheese? You get pepper get... jack cheese? Yeah, I yeah. I'm hearing you twice. I'm hearing me. That's not me. That's not me. Oh that's really weird. Oh that's really weird. Oh that's really weird. See he's echoing you too, who is that? See he's I echoing no you idea. too, who is that? I have no idea. I have, I have no, no idea. idea. What the hell is going on, baby? What the hell is going on, baby? <laughs> Are you messing with me? Are you messing with me? I'm not. I promise. I promise me? you, I'm not, baby. I promise you. I promise you, I'm not, baby. Is that all you needed? Is that all you needed? I just, I just want to tell you. You know what? I hope when I get there, I see you. We lock eyes, and I could give you a big fat kiss on your lips because you sound like the sweetest woman in the goddamn world. And I am, but I'm probably sweeter only than a bowl of honey. <laughs> you have a good that, night. Hey, that doesn't that doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother, <laughs> doesn't bother me. Me. Like that doesn't bother me. I like them. That doesn't bother me. I'll knock. I'll have knock the dust night, off man. that. Yay. Let's call. Let's call hotels in Tijuana. Tijuana. Hello, thank you for calling Holiday Inn. How can I help? When we were gonna we just, fuck, Miss Were we just speaking to you, uh, talking to you, or is this someone new? Does that matter? Is there anything I can help well, you no, with? Well, no, because it does matter. It's it does matter because I was gonna invite the lady I was talking to to eat, and I don't want to invite you if you're not gonna appreciate it. You sound very unappreciative. You can't be. I'm sorry, but you cannot be calling a hotel. To, you would have to come talk to them individually. You would have to come talk to us individually. I can do whatever the hell I want. I'm gonna be there an hour. Why can't I, I can call them? You gotta come call me individually. Hello, thanks for calling Holiday Inn. How can I help? I just want to know who you think you are trying to tell me what I can and can't do. That's it. That's what I want to know. Who you think you is? And I'm sorry, but you can. Yeah, that's right. We cannot give no- out personal information like that just for a dinner. All I asked was if you was the person I was talking to, and you had this attitude, girl. You are calling a Shut hotel, up. sir. I I apologize. You are calling a hotel. But no. Look, I don't all right. Know. I accept your apology. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I accept your apology. What are you doing after work? What time are you up? Let's go get some food. Do you know who you were talking to earlier? No, but now my focus is on you. That don't matter. That's the past. Let's focus on the on the future, baby. So you cannot be calling the That me don't exist anymore. Huh? Mm-hmm. That that me don't exist anymore. I I I've grown. I've I growth. My growth game's strong, baby. So what? We going to get some food or what? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Who is this? How you how you get my number? Hello. That shit, man. Fucking annoying. Quit calling me. You stole a dog. Hello? That's like stealing somebody's child. Quit calling me. You stole a dog. Y'all funny. That's like stealing somebody's child. And you should. Period, boo. 
think about it. I think this might. Hello. There's a squirrel in our room. Can you come get it, please? Where the hell is this? Listen, listen to me. So, gal, uh, how may I help you? Um, hey, please believe in me. Is uh, is there putas there? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fred Party. Oh, hey, baby. Chupa la peña, la maricón, la cucha coño. ¿Cómo, cómo estás? Baby, you got a chorizo, baby? Can you speak English? Oh, do you have a big sausage that I can cook with eggs? Pinche cabrón, get your chorizo phones on. Hello, pinche cabrón, como estas? Hello, may I help you? Yes, I'm looking for uh, Mr. Pinche Cabrón. He's staying there. Uh, what's his last name, sir? Cabrón. Cabrón. Can you spell that? C-A-B-R-O-N-D. Okay. Uh, no, we don't have a ca- uh, Carboroni, C-A-B, Cabroni? No, we don't have anybody there by this name. It's not under Pinche? Pinche, What's, maybe? Uh, can you spell yeah, P- the first three letters? T-I-N? Okay. Nope. No name you don't have now. a Pinche Cabron there? No. Ah, that's disappointing. Right. I'm sorry. Hey, she has a mierda puta in How about puta mierda? What about Peña? Maybe Peña's there? Hello? Thank you for calling America's Best Value In. This is Brittany speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Brittany. Oh. Hi. Hi, what's the availability like tonight? Um, we are sold out right now. What the hell? Why is everybody sold out? The Wing Fest. Oh, I thought it was Taylor Swift. Uh, I didn't know about a concert. I just, all the guests are talking about the Wing Fest, so that's how I know. (laughs) So people have traveled far and wide to eat wings? I guess. I'm not sure, uh, but we are definitely Some completely sold out. Some bored motherfuckers, I'm telling you. Yeah. Well, what, have you got any recommendations? Um, so we have, like, there is the Fairfield Inn right around the corner from us. There's Western mm-hmm. Village next to Sparks Marina. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, uh, I'm I'm part of a uh, a hip hop group, and uh, there's like ten of us, so I've got a, a large party of people. Um, we write, we do music, and uh, we're looking. Yeah, we're looking for a new roadie. Are you happy with your job there? Or are you? Want to travel I'm definitely the happy with my job here, but um, um, so since this is not concerning another room, I'm going to have to get off the phone because I have guests that are waiting to be checked in. Oh, you, oh you, it could be the opportunity of a lifetime. You know? Have a good night. Hey. Sounds all right. Yeah, it good. sounds perfect now. Thank you for calling your residence in Reno yeah. Sparks for reservations. Press one for the sales department. You are being transferred to the resident the roaches in. Hello, thank you for calling the front desk. Hey, speaking. Yeah, where's my Hello? Logitech controller? For the uh, the remote. Yeah, I want to play the remote game, and I can't find the remote. 
I'm like, I'm what digging I... through like all these like drawers and stuff. Two fifteen. I'm behind the TV now. I'm just kind of looking behind it. If you would like, um, you can come up to the front and I can give you a remote. No, it's a controller. You know, like where you play the games with. Don't the TVs in oh. these rooms have game controllers? Oh no, no. these rooms I don't think have game controllers. Oh, what a cheap, lousy, low budget, low end hotel I've chosen. We don't have I game controllers. Hey, the, there's someone in the TV talking to me. He says his name is Lawnmower Man. Is, does he work I for you? I am the ending of the What the heck? What the heck? Hello? Hi, I'm Hello. Harry Belafonte. Who's Hello, this? Sir. Hello? What, what's happening? Uh, hi, this How is Harry Belafonte. I was... Yeah, I was going to come there and uh, put on a show tonight. I was scheduled for the entertainment. You're scheduled for what? I'm putting on a show. I'm performing Hello? there. I'm performing a spot. Performing? Yeah, I want to make sure that you got everything ready for me. You're performing for what? Music. Music? Here in Western Village? Yeah, so you were supposed you're to have a stage Village. ready. Yeah, you're supposed to build the stage, and then you have a ah. bunch of electrical outlets, large speakers, and lots of women dancing in front of the okay, stage. Okay, just give me a second. Sir. I put an hold, sir. Okay? okay? Just give me a second. No, don't do that. No, I'm a very big, important man. I don't know. She sounds pretty low IQ. Thank you for holding. How can I help you? Hi, this is Harry Hello? Belafonte. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm supposed to How perform there you? tonight. and Yeah, I'm supposed to perform there tonight, and I just wanted to double-check on the particulars of what we agreed to. Okay, is it at Pepper Mill or Western? Because we do not have shows at Western Village. Oh, that was, yeah. I, I mean, they already paid me, so, you know. Uh, yeah, so I was going to come there. For just Western make sure Village? you got the stage set up. Yeah, and uh, you got the stage set up, and we said that we were going to have some actors in the crowd to, like, dance, to encourage the other people there to dance, you know. Not at Western Village. We never have any shows at Yeah, we talked world. about this. Harry Belafonte, I was going to bring the singing monkeys. I have, I'm not sure I have who a bunch of monkeys. It. I talked to the manager there. So okay. I have these monkeys that I've trained to sing. And we made a deal that I would come there and perform. And, and then the, at the end of and the spot, the monkeys... And who manager did you talk with, do you know? Oh, his name was Bob Odin. Um, I we don't have anybody by this name at Western Village. Yeah, he said he said you know that I could bring the monkeys and then we could you know do the music together. Uh, he said he would also put up a screen okay. in case the monkeys were going to throw feces at the crowd, you know, to protect the people. That was part of the contract obligations. Don't forget to tell them, Harry. That was part of the event coordination. Yeah, I mean, I've trained the monkeys to sing, but okay. I can't stop them from flinging poo at the guests. I mean, we've talked about this. Okay, well, why don't you why don't you call the person that you made a contract with? Because he's a chutia. I don't like him. Robotic again. Good evening, Mr. Ryan. Hi. Hi there. I'm with my robot friend, and he's he's going in and out, in and out. So that's besides the point. Do you have any rooms for tonight? 
I'm very sorry we're sold out. We're booked already up. Oh. Yeah. Everybody's booked. Oh. Um, Sunrise Motel oh. might have something. Oh. Oh. Uh. Get that? You need the phone number? Uh, yeah. Seven seven five. Yeah. Sure, stay plus at the airport. This is Joyce. How can I help you? What's up, baby? I just want to know if you guys got any rooms I can fuck milkman in. Excuse me. Uh, me and my boyfriend, we just need a room right now, ASAP, please. We are, we are in a hurry. That is a little different too. What? Wow. I live in California. I just had to be to California. What? What's wrong? You never had anybody come wow. so bluntly wow. to you? What? 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 We just want to know if you have a room that we can fuck in right now. Excuse me. Yeah, and then another guy gets on the phone and goes, "Yeah, me and my boyfriend want to know if you got your room." So, okay, that's and just we're in a big TMI. and we're in a big hurry. I'm like, you said the wrong one. Yeah. 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 Oh, here, buddy. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I just hung up. I just didn't even bother saying anything. I do not need to know what he's doing with his boyfriend. Ma'am? She thinks she hanged up. Ma'am? Let's call her back exactly. and then be like, we heard everything you said. Hate monger. Sure, stay close by the airport. This is Joyce speaking. Can I help you? <clears throat> My dick is so hard, bitch. Well, maybe you better stick it in the blender. How about I stick it up your ass? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> it should be E minor. Vacation Resorts in Reno. Can I place you on a yeah, threshold? I mean, is no, no, we're in a no. hurry. Uh, I'm sorry? Hello? Hi. Hello? Yeah. Hi, I'm here. Hi. I'm here for the show. Hey. Uh, they told me to stand right here and talk to you on the phone. They're paying me money to do this to you. So, how how's it going down there, honey baby? I'm sorry? How are your britches hanging? Hanging do low? You... So, I do apologize. This is a hotel? Did you mean yeah. to contact? I, uh, yes, yes. They put me in contact with you. I called the service. I use a service to dial my phone. Yes. Uh, what service are you talking about? Yeah, the caretaker service. Caretaker it's an service? App, uh, yeah, it's an app. It's an app. I call them, and they, they do the app, and they put me in, in contact with you. Uh, I am I do apologize. I'm not sure what service you're talking about. Um, this is Legacy Vacation Resorts in Reno. Is this your... Yes, the Legacies. I have Legacies to perform. Yes, we are Legacy Vacation Resorts in Reno. Yes, I have Legacies to perform. They'll be perform. written about in history books. Okay. Um, so I do apologize. I do have guests I do have to attend to. Um, so I will have to go unless you uh, need something specific. I just need you to hang up that phone. Will do. Hi, thank you for calling the shore. This is Katie. How can I help you? Hi. Um, Hello. Uh, what do you What do you have to get the stains out? Because uh, uh, the tomato soup is everywhere. Um. You uh, were you talking to the front desk? Yeah, I'm trying to talk to the front desk. Yeah. Okay, let me transfer you. Okay. Thank you for calling the Renaissance from Reno Downtown Hotel. This is Blake speaking. How may I assist you? 
Uh, hi, how how do I get the uh the the How do I get the tomato the tomato God damn it, whose microphone is wide the fuck open just click clacking? Sorry, excuse me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, hi. Yeah, how how may I assist you? Hi, can you assist me? I need I need to know how to mute and unmute my telephone. Um, so there should be a button up um on the phone with like a little spe- uh speaker that w- right next to it would be where you would mute and unmute your phone at. Oh. Let me press the button. Hold on. Okay, can you talk? Yeah, can you hear me? Damn it. How does this work? Hold on a minute. Hold on. There, you got it? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Now I can hear you just fine. Yeah, what can we help you with? Yeah. How you money make? Excuse me, what? How you money make? Sir, did you mean to call this number? Yeah. I use mm-hmm. the service. Uh, are you looking for the restaurant? No, what? I'm looking for you. Okay, what can we do for you? Space is limited. We're looking for you, baby. Plaza Resort Club. I just want to fuck someone's ass real quick, bro. Plaza Resort Club. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me, baby? Um, How can we I were just looking for a room, me and my. Uh, we were just looking for a room, me and my husband, yeah, w- Alasma. Okay. Um, uh, the uh, we don't have a dedicated reservation agent. The best thing, uh, go to our website, plazaresortclub.com, dot com, mm-hmm. or you can also try booking dot com or Expedia. Those are our uh, good travel partners. Get your finger out of there. It's okay. Simple. Well. I'm sorry, me and my husband are busy. So, so do you guys have any rooms available, though, before I even, you know, do that? I don't want to waste my time. We do We do have some rooms available, but um, you can get a real clear picture uh, at our website, plazaresortclub.com. And how many people can can fit on the bed? Um, two. Just two? I can't bring, you know, three, maybe four. We can't all... You know, four people. I, I would recommend uh, two people to the bed. Yeah. Hello. Um. What if? Yeah. Okay. Check our hello? website. And you, hello. Can you hear me? What if? What if we we laid um we laid in layers like one laid on top of me and then the person next to me had someone lay on top of him. You know that. And we did it that way. That would be completely up to you. Um, I have a guest at the desk here that I'm trying to get registered, so uh, my recommendation what is... Talk to my there? husband real fast. Son, son what are you talking go. about over there? Thank what you. are you, some type of... Co- <laughs> there you go. Thank you for calling World Mark. Elena speaking. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> You're oh a God, dumb slut. So funny. <laughs> funny. Hey, what? don't say that. That's rude. I'm leaving. Pickle, pickle. Hello. Hello? Hi, do you guys have any sake? Do you guys have sake? Oh, yeah. Do you have any what? Sake? Good evening, World Mark Reno. This is Carlos. How can I help you? Hey, do you guys have sake? Yeah, at a liquor store. Dude, I'm being serious. I know you guys have some sake. Don't be a... We have we have sake at at the liquor store. Find your nearest liquor store near your home. 
Quinnipiac Hotel front desk. How may I help you? You bitch. What did you fucking tell that guy to not give me any sake for? I apologize. Uh, what? That guy, you fucking told him not to give me any sake? Uh, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. What's your name? Um, I don't feel comfortable giving you my name, considering how you talked to me when you first answered. Okay, well, I need this to know if it's you, because it does sound like you. You were telling that... Huh? I'm sorry, this is the Whitney Peak Hotel front desk. Your name's Wendy? Wendy's nuts hit no. your chin? We are the Whitney Peak Hotel front desk. Talk to my fucking husband, Elasma. Bitch. Hell. Hi. We're here. We're, uh, we're looking for the door handle, but it's missing. Mm-hmm. It's only got limited spaces. The door handle? I can't find... How do I open the door with no door handle? Where's the How key can go? I play doctor? How can I play doctor without my stethoscope? My Nintendo is not working right. You gotta put your you gotta put your finger inside of things. It keeps making funny organ it. It sounds. Won't, it won't turn. Hello, thank you for choosing Best Western. This is Slumber. How may I help you? Hello. Hello. Is your name Slumber? Lamberto. I like a grand slam. Slumberto. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, what's your name? Lamberto. Lamberto. Yes. Ooh, that's very. That's a female's mm-hmm. name, Lamberto. Very sexy. Are you making shit up? I'm a male. Oh, you're a male. I'm sorry. My apologies. Hi. That's all right. You still sound sexy. All right. Can I help you? Probably not. You're not qualified to. Do you have a degree? <laughs> Are you looking to get a room or not? Do you have a degree in psychology? Then you can help me. Good night. No. no. Fucker. Perhaps you should have rephrased it psychiatry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The... May I help oh, you? Oh, yeah, that's what it says. Big trucking on the caller ID. This is in Thank the you for calling on the My name is George. How can I help you tonight? My name is George. I'm sorry. How can I help Hi, you? Hi, is this is this Carn is this Carne Asada? No, this is La Posada Hotel. Lopsided Hotel. <laughs> you guys have chorizo. Not chorizo. Well, how about you? Have you got a big piece of chorizo? I can eat or help you. Do you have a Wait, taco salad? Because those are like really Mexican, aren't they? What? I'm pretty What'd sure I could probably whip you up one if you really want one. You make me a taco salad? Yeah, I'll, uh, wow. you whip me up a little piece of chorizo and I'll give you a big ass like piece of chorizo. salchicha with two huevos I'm on the side. Saying, What's up? You never see me toss a salad, bro. Shit, well, I'm trying to find out. You trying to have stay you, in the room with me or what? Have you been in the prison? Got a bolas. Bolsa, bolas. Do you talk to the Me and my boy. Me and my boy right here, we can make you airtight, bro. Okay. Well, come on with it then. Way, man, man, I'm all ready. Hey, hey, Tony, what did I tell you? What? Go, <laughs> go in the room and stick a finger in there and warm yourself up for us. We're coming later, fool. All right, I'll be right back, man. Hey, don't... Broadway in. How may I help you? And you can get a fucking personality and try that greeting one more time, all right? Let's go. You can a lot, how can I help you? Issues. Yes, uh, we'd like to make a reservation with Issues, please. Uh, we use the Issues application. I'm sorry, with what? Yes, we're using the issues application to make a reservation, please. Okay, is that online or? Yes, my brother's online right now. Hey, Axel, Paul, could you explain to this lady about the issues application, please? We use an application 
for caretakers. It's like a grub hug for grub hub for caretakers. And so they sent us a fellow over here, and he told us to call you because you had the best rates in town. But then he left us. He didn't give us any other information about uh, your amenities, your rooms, your services. So we're just calling for information to see if we can, you know, make a deal happen tonight. Okay, so we only have two double queen beds at 119 plus tax. Okay, do you have any beef curry? We do not. Oh, God. Do you know anywhere that has what, beef curry? No continental breakfast? No breakfast, no. We need a no continental breakfast? This is the worst thing ever. I thought for sure you How about a breakfast curry. burrito? Breakfast burrito? <laughs> Can we bring our pet owl? No. Super 80's fun staff, front desk. Yeah, hi. The peacock is on the loose. Sorry? Yeah, no, it got loose. Somebody, I, I don't know if it's housekeeping or whoever the fuck came up to make up the room. They left the door jar while they were in here doing the, doing the cleaning, and then my fucking peacock got out. Is there anything I can help you with, sir? Yeah, we need to locate my peacock. A very expensive bird. You don't actually have those, a peacock. <laughs> no, I do. I'm transporting it to a veterinary clinic for wildlife animals uh, because my local veterinarian clinic can't handle him. So I'm trying to bring him over here to get some feather work done. It, you you actually have a... Wait, what room number is this? 215. Two fifteen. Yep. Last name? Last name is Johnson. Uh, I don't have a. I don't have a. Johnson in two fifteen. Well, that's why I'm staying. That's where the peacock was until you guys' negligence released it. I don't know where it's at. I don't know if you have it lost it found. If you have it in another one of the rooms, I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like it. Uh, okay. I like it. Oh, all right. I I cannot tell if this is a serious phone call or not. I'm going to be honest. I did. By, did am I laughing? No, but I feel like I would know if we had a peacock in house. I feel like there would be a note about that somewhere, or a pet form signed or something. No, I, I, well, I mean, I could see if I filled out some type of form if I had a cat or a dog or something, like a normal pet. But I've got all the certifications that I need. I have them in my wallet. I carry them with me in a very expensive briefcase, the fireproof briefcase, in case there was an accident or anything like that, and maybe I perished in a car wreck or anything like that. At least the paperwork would be safe in the briefcase. Is this for Leanne Johnson? Uh, because that'd that's be the my only wife. Johnson I have in house. Oh, yeah, I that'd, see. That'd be okay. my wife. She's the one to book the room for me. Yep. Um, I can look on the cameras. I don't think we had you guys checking in today, so there there wouldn't be any housekeepers <laughs> in there today. Well, she called because there was an issue with the room. Uh, we didn't know if somebody was staying in the room because the, the covers, you know, the, I don't know if it's a duvet or if it's actually a comforter or whatever, but it was pulled back as if somebody had been in the bed. So we, we asked if they could come up and change out the sheets and all the all the, uh, all the the linens and things like that. Uh, the rest of the room looked fine. It's just, it was it was a little weird. And we left to go get lunch, and we had to go get some feed for the peacock. And then when we come back, peacock's gone. Okay. I mean, do you want to go out and look? Oh, I've I've been I... looking. Leanne's out now. Leanne's out right now, and she's trying. She's trying. To, she's trying to track her down. 
and she's got hot dogs. We're trying to feed the peacock because that's the peacock's favorite food. And she's out right now. She's got a whole pack of hot dogs, and I don't know where she's at right now, but she's trying to track down the peacock. Okay. Well, what we could do is I could look at the cameras, and that's probably the best that okay. I can do right now. But I mean, do you got? A, is there a bunch that uh, might be able to tra- like? Is there any pointed at the at the room, like at the front door of the room? Maybe we could go back a couple of hours, and maybe there's uh, maybe we could track its traces, or trace the steps. Yeah, we can go back through the cameras. Um, I'll have to text my okay, manager. Well, how, okay? how, how, how far? Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. I just I, I gotta find it because the peacock is diabetic and it's gotta have insulin. You're totally prank calling me right now, right? Like, there's I'm not prank calling. No, see, the problem is it has it has a blood deficiency. It has low iron levels as well as low blood sugar levels. And if it's not maintained, it actually it starts to shed its feathers. And it's diabetic and it needs insulin. Okay, I'm going to go back through the cameras, and that's probably the best I could do right now, okay? Okay, what, what, um, do you have my cell phone? It should be on the caller ID. Uh, call me there, because I won't be in the room. I'm going to be out looking for the peacock. Okay, all right. Okay, right, I, pr- I appreciate it. Uh, can you check in with me in like f- 15 minutes and see and let me know what you found? Um, I can when my manager texts me back. That's the best I can do. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. All right. Bye bye. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Hi, thank you for calling Country. There you are. I had a an issue with the room next door to me. Uh, are you here at the Country Inn? Yeah, if I put my phone up next to the door that's like the wall closest to the next room. It kind of sounds like they're, like, doing jumping jacks, or maybe they're working out, and they're kind of loud. Are you? Is there any chance you have a Um, okay, what room number are you in? Watch, listen. Listen, hold on. Yes, put it in. Put it in there. Oh, God, yes. Can you hear them? Country in a sweet and flex out. This is Leah speaking. How can I help you? Yes, put it in there. Put it in there. Oh, God, fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Yes, fuck me. Yes. Take a cat. I'm not okay. making it. Hi, this is Country in a sweet and flex out. I'm staying here and I'm. I'm kind of apprehensive to call, but I feel like I have to because there's some weird noises going on in the room next to me. Okay, what room that... are you in? Who are you, Shinnaman? Th- okay. Shinnaman, who are you on the phone with? Do you hear that? What room number Shinnaman. are you in? Okay. Listen, Here, listen. The... No, you take the phone then. Get away from me. Hello? Hi, what room number Hello? are you in? Is is this? Is this the front desk? Hello, thanks for calling Best West Some Pointy Soldier. This is Marte. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi, we're inside a clown car right now. Uh, we're traveling to your location. You have enough room for six men? He's, he's putting a balloon animal up my ass. Fuck me! Hey! Hey! Well, hello. Hello. Six men, two beds, if possible. Oh. That that would work. Don't put that dick shaped balloon anywhere near me, you fucker. Get that thing out of here. Fuck me. Fuck me. Oh. Hello? Yes, hello? Ah, yes. We're, we're six, man. We're looking for room reservations for tonight. Okay, is there a specific type of room you were looking for? Yeah, a room with beds for six men. We're all little tiny clowns. We're in a clown car right now. Okay. Bring your clown ass next to mine. 
Get your finger out of there. Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> you like this? You like my little finger? Ooh, it feels nice. You like my little finger going in and out of there? My little finger? <laughs> That's my pinky. <laughs> That's my pinky. My little pinky. What are you doing? Pinky winky was a This reminds me of Boy Scouts. Here. Let me remind you of something else in Boy Scouts. Close your eyes and open wide, and I'll give you a big surprise. Say, ah. Uh. I said, say, ah. Uh. Open your fucking mouth, damn it. Hmm. Who's grabbing my clown dick? Don't let go of my clown cock, please. Years in the future. Flex time model mad, yeah? Hi, Flex. How you doing oh. today? Good, how can I have you? Hot. We need a room. All three of us. Okay, uh, what kind of room are you looking for? Well, one where you can come visit us. So maybe one with two beds? All four of us can get down. Come visit us? What the fuck are you talking about? I want to have a picnic with you. Make it sexy, sexy. No, no. Flex the model, may I help you? Uh, yeah, can you guys come into my room and bring me a pillow? I I, I I need a new one. I accidentally spilled. I'm in room two. Room two? Yeah, you bancho. Yeah, bite what? the pillow. Bite the pillow. I know which huh? room are you talking I, about, sir? Which room are you calling from, so that I can come there? Here, talk to my friend you just hung up on. Yeah, Bancho, but what the hell are you talking about? So you got to tell me what do you want. Hey, 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 listen, Karimaki Chu, he bit the pillow. We need a new pillow. Which room are you in? What is your room number? We are in, we are in uh, Marachod, motherfucker. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Karimaki Chu. And we wanted you to come visit us to have a picnic. Yeah, don't teach your bop how to fuck. Really? What, what, uh, I was going to show you how to kiss from the bubble butt. What are, What are you talking about? You know what are you talking? Yeah, talking what? shit. Talking the shit. What are we talking? I don't know. T- time is money, so you better speak up. I am speaking. You want a pillow, right? I want a pillow so I can lay your face on it and give you a slap on your ass. Good. Now you be talking. Now give me your fucking yeah. number. Yeah. Yeah. Asshole, don't call her. I will her. fucking call do it to you, man. Because I got your number on Putting my caller ID. Putting your face in a pillow. Eh? Let's put his let's I, put his face yeah. in a pillow, and then I'll put my my ring finger in his ass, and you can kiss him on the mouth at the same time. Oh, yeah, really? I kiss you on the lips while my eh? friend doing that to you. Yeah. Marcus Best Valley Union Suites. How can I help you? Hi, can I smack your ass when I come in later? I'm sorry, say that again? Yeah, I heard that you have a pet donkey there. I was wondering if I could smack it. You have oh, a wrong smack number. that ass. Smack that ass. Yeah, smack that ass. Best Valley Union Suites. How can I help you? Smack that ass. Smack that ass. Smack that ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, smack that. <laughs> I don't think they answer the phone anymore. So I know of it.
Thank you for calling Quality Inn and Flagstaff. This is Mackenzie. How can I help you? Mackenzie? Uh, yes? Is it true you guys have a donkey there? No. Then what was my friend telling me about that? He went to the hotel and he smacked that ass? Um, I'm not sure. Oh. Um, do you want me to... Is it cool if I smack your ass? Hey, I thank you for calling Ramada Friend Desk. How can I help you? Hi, I I talked to my friend, and he bet me five dollars that you uh-huh. that you bite the pillow. You bite the pillow. Bite the pillow? No. Yeah. Do you bite the pillow? Hey, no. Hey, Dwight. Yeah. Dwight. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell him something? Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Now bite the pillow, motherfucker. What? Bite, bite the, the pillow. pillow. Yeah, you little bitch. Bite the pillow. Yeah, bite the pillow. Say, say, I ah, am bite it with your big fucking lips, okay? Bite the fucking pillow. Oh, the demon is coming out of the pillow, man. Oh. You drop, you yeah, you you drop some uncooked flour in the in the cobra's. So I'm back up the pillow. Hi, I don't want to do it no more. He's trying to make me bite the pillow. Bite the pillow, man. Come on. He want he wants me to bite the pillow, or he said no, I can't go. Yeah, just bite the fucking pillow, man. I did DoorDash. I brought him McDonald's, and now he's making me bite the pillow. Bite it. Bite that shit, man. Bite that pillow. Good evening. Thanks for calling the hotel. This is Bill. I can help you. Hey, why is the heat so... Why is it so hot here? What do you mean? Like, I was outside? It's hot. It's humid right now because we got rain today. Yeah, but it's hot. Well, how many degrees? Uh, sir, I, I have no idea. Well, outside, you know your parking lot? Yes, sir. It, like, my shoes were untied, and I tripped over my like, shoelaces, and I fell down, and my shorts and the, my le- my legs touched the asphalt, and now I got burn marks from your from your parking lot, and now I need, I need some uh, assistance. What room are you in? I'm in 215, and I got this cream. I got it from CVS, and I need someone to come rub it on my ass. <laughs> Western Hills Motel, may I help now you? Now it's time to go. Hey, Say dude, again? I don't appreciate how hot it is here, dude. I, you heard me. You heard me. Okay, uh, what room are you in? Do you have a problem? My, yes, I have a problem. My grandpa, Downey, he was outside and it was so goddamn hot when he fell, he got a second degree burn on his ass. So what's that got to do with me? You're going to be the one to get the cream and put it on him. I ain't doing that shit. With the cream, I'm sorry. It hurts. Get your ass over here, dude, because this guy needs cream on his ass. Oh. Travelers in. Breakers. Hello? Hello, hi. I got somebody over here right now, and they, they keep offering to rub country crock on my burns. It's <laughs> the last one. Ah! Hello? Al, can I help you? Yeah, uh, I was just wondering, uh, wh- which side of the sink is for the hot water? For the hot water, it would be the left side. Because when I, yeah, that's what I thought. So I turn it, and then cold water. What room are you in? 
I'm in 215. 215. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. Um, were well, you trying to access the shower, the sink, or you said the sink, right? Yeah, well, no, no. The, well, that was for the, yeah, I was wondering for the sink because I was having problems with the shower. Oh. And when I turned, when, like, I was looking, I was looking at the thing and, like, it says hot this way, cold this yeah. way. And, like, I thought maybe the pipes, like, the, the connections, I don't know if you have the, uh, uh, the flex pipe or whatever's going, the, like, the, the tubing. So yeah. I cut the wall open to see if I can get access to the pipes to see what was going on there to see if they were maybe backwards or mixed up. And, uh, like, as far as I could tell, they seem to be okay, but I got a big fucking hole in my wall now. Oh, crazy. There's, like, I, I, like, if you guys, if you guys patch it right, it could be an access panel, but, uh, the water is not hot in here. Okay, um, give me one sec real quick. And because, like, I, I can't get the hot water in the, in the shower, I've been using the wall as a urinal. I'm going to make a pee-pee, poo-poo, caca in there. What room is this again? I'm sorry. 215-215. Under Christy? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have another, well, well, maintenance is already gone for the day, so I can't have anybody, like, come up and check it. Um, I do yeah, have. But another if you move me room, to another I room, I'm, yeah. If you move me to another room, I want to cut the. I want to cut the wall in that one and check the pipes before I agree to it. Uh, we prefer not to do that. I, I got. Saw, I got. I got. I got like a key saw. Like I, 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 what water I do. Over. Well, what I do. What I do is I drill a hole, a pilot hole, and then I use the saw and I saw in a in a nice rectangular shape. Uh, I keep it very nice and clean, tight lines. Uh, and then no. I open it up, and then oh, we prefer not do that yeah. to this other room. So, um, but I got to make sure the water is good. The water's got to be great. Yeah, I mean, you we're going to make the water great. We're going to the handle, make the water great again. Making a hole. You get what I mean? What? I mean, there's no purpose making another. No, hole. no, I don't. You can just turn on the handle and just check. But you just turn. You just turn the handle. Yeah, I mean, you just turn like how you would normally turn on the. The water for a sink. I mean, it would just. Be yeah, but like I turn it down, and I and I I immediately put my oh, hand I meant in the water. This other room. No, I meant to this other room. Oh, Instead oh, of, yeah, this one. Like I I I immediately like put my hand in there. I'm like, oh my god, this is cold. It's not hot water, and then immediately shut it off. And I'm like, oh man, I don't know why there's no hot water coming out of here. Um, I'll be up there like in an. I took the hand. I took the handle off, and I looked at it. The handle seems to be fine. Um, I'll be up there in in a few minutes. Um, let me help this person right here that's at the front right now, and I'll go up there, and you can walk with me. Is that to, my wife? Is that Chris, is that Christy? Is that Christy down there? Uh, are you are you Christy? No, that's not her. That's not her. Who is that? That might be my daughter. Who is that? No. What is your name? I'm sorry. Did you did you come from a certain room? Oh no, no. This is a this is for a different room, sir. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got a room for her too. Okay. Weird. Oh, can I talk? Can I talk to her? Can I talk to her real quick? Uh, sure. Uh, Thank you. Um, I know what this guy's talking about. Do you know the guy that's in two fifteen? No, in two fifteen. No. He's like, let me talk to you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. No, that was not her, sir. That was somebody from a different room, sir. No, that's my um, that's my daughter. No, no, that's my daughter. She's causing. I I know her voice. She's already making fun of me. Oh, get get her back here. I need to talk to her. This is a native her. girl, sir. Uh, what are you saying? I'm not native? Uh, you. I mean, you don't. I don't know. It's not my call, but like I said, sir, I don't want you making any. I know. I know. Hey, listen. I, don't I, want know, you about, making holes I know about any the more room, you. sir. Did you hear me? I I know about the Wasik. I don't like you speaking over me. I'm just trying to tell you what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to help you out here. 
Put so, my whore like daughter said, on the phone. Like I said, sir, I do not want you making any more holes in any more rooms. So Listen, I, I can't I come, will, up, I can't I, come I will, up there oh, and check. Okay. Oh. Um, oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Right. Weatherford Hotel, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. I I hate to bother you. Listen, I'm I'm feeling really self conscious about my stay um currently. Um can can I ask can I ask you something uh for a favor real quick? Oh, well, you can ask. What's the favor? Um can can you uh, can you can you tell me that I'm I'm a great guest and I'm I'm the best guest that you've ever had stay here? What's going on? I'm just feeling really self-conscious about it. Like, I don't think I'm as good as the other guests that are staying here. Well, I don't think that that's anything you have to worry about. Well, like, these people, they're, like, they're they're nice and they're dressed up. And, like, I don't have clothes that come to even close to the dollar amount that these people are, are spending. And, I like, oh, they probably God. have better rooms than me. And that absolutely I, I don't, does not matter. That's totally not something I mean, that matters. Don't worry about that at all. But like, so you'd say I'm a I'm a good guest. Of course, yeah. Did you break anything? No, yeah, then a, you're a great guest. No, I didn't cause yeah. any problems. Not that I know of. Okay, it's it's it's, it's a ton of weight, and in, in the it's really been hanging on me. No, I well, I I haven't heard of anything that happened tonight, so I, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Okay, I'm just yeah. It, it's uh, yeah. I I uh, and these people like right next to me. I'm borrowing their cell phone to call, and like they t- they told me that I should get a job, and they said that I'm a poor because I don't have a cell phone. I'm. Sh- Sure that no one said that to you. That's a terrible thing to say. You said you were uh-huh. staying here at the Weatherford. Guy. Yeah, guy. Hey, guy. Like this lady says, you should not be calling me a poor. That I, that I'm a, a tremendous guest. Yeah. What was your last name, friend? My last name is Johnson. Johnson. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, if there, if we are having a problem with another guest, I definitely recommend speaking to either the bartender or security. But I'm sure that there's he's nothing wearing, to worry about. Like he's, I, hang on, let me walk around the corner. This guy looks like, like he looks like a fucking Monopoly guy. He's got a monocle and a top hat and a cane, and he's in a tuxedo. Sorry, what room were you in? I'm not seeing anyone with that name staying here tonight. I I was in 215. We don't have numbers that go that high. Are you sure you're at the correct hotel, friend? Yeah, I'm I'm over here at the Holiday Inn in Suites Express. Yeah, that's not our hotel. You're calling the different hotel. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got the wrong that's, place. Yes. Anything else I can help you with tonight? Yeah, can, can I can I smack your ass? All right. And do bong rips. Hi, this is Resident Attendant Flagstaff. This is Joshua speaking. Hi. How can I help you today? Hi, Joshua. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty well. How are you tonight? Um, I'm good. I'm good. I've been driving. Uh, let my feet go on the bed, and now I'm elevated. <laughs> so is, is there any way I can help you tonight, sir? Yeah. What's the deal with the towels? The towels? What the do you towel mean? Towel situation. Well, I got here. They were brown. Like someone had used them for doo doo caca feces in the bathroom without, you know, toilet paper. I was a little concerned with that. I smelled it, and it did, in fact, smell like doo doo caca feces. So I'm certain that that's what that is. But my wife, she okay, told well, me, "Oh no, that's chocolate. It's chocolate." Because she said there was chocolates on the bed. Is that normal for here? So sometimes we do put chocolates on the bed if it's a higher ranking member. But what room number are you? What do you mean? Oh, well, you mean my phone that... number? Okay, hold no, on. No, your room let me, number. Let me get you the number it's... on this line here. This line. 
I just got so this. You said, you said you're in a room okay. for those towels. What, what room number? 215. It's 786. Yeah. Compliments. What's your last name, sir? It's Mr. Compliments. C O M P L I M E N Z. I'm not seeing that uh, last name in my stay information. Is it perhaps under well, a different heard, last name? I heard you have a you have a donkey there. I was wondering if I could come by and smack that ass. Okay, sir. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Can I smack that ass? All right. Bye bye. Can I smack that ass? <laughs> Hi, this is Resident Inn and Flagstaff. This is Joshua speaking. How can I help you today? Yeah, my name's Joshua. I have a big appointment job. All right, Hi, sir. I hope you have a great night. Bye-bye. No, no, I got something next. Country and Suites, downtown Flagstaff. How can I help you? Yes, yeah, we're speaking. This is a Country and Suites. How can I help you? Yes, but who am I speaking to? This is a front desk agent, sir. How can I help you? I want to know your name. Hello. Hello. Yes? Who Who is speaking? Who is speaking? Uh, this is El Motel. Yes, well, who am I speaking to? This is a property manager. Yes, and what is your name, Mr. Property Manager? I know you have a name. Yeah, and by the way, who who am I speaking to? Well, are you going to tell me your name, or are you just going to ask my name? I can give you my name, Raj. Your name is Raj? Mm-hmm. See, you're the person I'm trying to talk to then because my girl Crispy said she fucked you a couple times and I, I run a porno. I run a porno website. We need your big dick in a video. What is that? Um, we were wondering if you could shoot with one of our girls tonight in your hotel. I didn't get you. Do you know a girl named Crispy? She says she got fucked no. by you a couple times. I don't know. No. Uh, you didn't fuck anyone named Crispy? Don't waste your time. He's Thank totally you. the guy that fucked me. Hey man, you fuck you fucking my daughter? All right. Thanks for calling that motor. How can I help you? Look, man, do you want to be in this video or not? We know you got a big dick. You can fuck whoever you want on the video. <laughs> Calling the Super of West Flagstaff. How can I help you? Oh. Hello. Hello. Who is this again? This is the Super 8 from West Flagstaff. Yeah, but your name is Mackenzie. Nope. Well, then who the hell am I speaking to? My name is Will. Will? What kind of name is that for a... Never mind. Talk to my husband. Baby, get the phone, baby. Hey, didn't I tell you to quit telling people I was your fucking husband? I ain't gay. <laughs> Listen, you want to tell people, you, like, what we do in here, me and you, you don't get other people involved with that shit. You don't go baby, telling other people baby. that I... Put that I put things inside of you, you put things inside of me. That's our business. It's not other people's fucking business. Hey, is there something I can help you guys with, or...? Just bite the pillow. Bite the pillow. You keep telling people this shit. I'm not going to bite the pillow any fucking more. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck was that? (laughs) That sounded so gross. 
Oh, God. Did you hear that, lady? Did you hear it? I swear he put the mic up to his throat while he was drinking water. Listen, I'm sorry, man. We're raising a family of throat goats over here. Hey, baby. I like the shape of your head. It is a nice block here, baby. Get your head out of my pants. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Who, who, Hi is who am I speaking to? Uh, you call me. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, you call Sue Estate. Yeah, but what's I'm your out. name, buddy? Asshole. Fucking asshole. Go fuck yourself, bitch. Motherfucker. I'll fuck you up, bitch. <laughs> what's up? What's up, Marachon, motherfucker, you? Fuck you, bitch. Come over here and talk to me. Carry you maki chut, motherfucker. You go suck your mama's fucking titty, you fucking small ass. Hey, don't bitch. teach your bop how to fuck. Don't teach your bop how to fuck. Hello, this is Chapter Sunday, Hello. Uh, yeah, there's this guy here, and he's acting really weird about the towels. He's the towel guy. His name is Dwight. I'm sorry? This guy, I bought a towel off him from the hallway, and he came in my room, and he won't leave. His name is Dwight. You bought a towel Listen, you, owe, you, you owe me $5 for the towel, or I can charge it to your room. What's your credit card number for this room? Give he me- says he works for you guys. Look, here's my official I'm- lanyard. I work for the hotel. What, what is your credit card number? Bro, can you come get your... No. <laughs> He's he's still here. You want to talk to him? He, no, I don't. I think you have card, the wrong give number. Me credit card number. Give me your credit card number now, or I'm going to break stuff, and we're going to charge it to your room. Okay. He won't leave. And he oh, we don't take credit it, he card here. The towel. He wrapped it really tight. Hey, 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 give me the phone. Hey, Tina. Be jealous. Travelers and Williams, I'm happy. Hi, who am I speaking to? This is a travel in Williams. Yeah, but who are you? What is your name? Yvonne. I want to know who I'm speaking to, please. Huh? Yvonne. Yvonne, you're Yvonne. the one my husband wanted to speak to. Here, Dwight. Oh, hello? Yes? Hello, ma'am. Yeah, hi. Um, my fr- My friend... He's a little drunk, and I need somebody on the phone to hear him say that it's okay that I make him bite the pillow. Do you it's, make him bite a pillow? Bite yeah, I'm going to put him face down in the pillow, and he's got to bite it. It's it's okay if I bite it? Bite. She says it's okay. Bite the pillow. 